Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at Shadow Flygon and a team I played like in Ultra Premiere in the last time we had it. I wanted to say last season, I think last time we had it because we already had the Dragon Tail buff on the Shadow Flygon. And yeah, now I played this team in the current cup, in the Remix cup, and I don't know. I don't know, we had like a lot of bad leads, we had like a lot of difficult games. It is difficult, I don't, I, I actually don't know, like it it was fine. I think I went positive three times and negative two times, so yeah, it could be better, it could be worse, I mean, it's, it's still fine, but yeah, it wasn't as dominant as it was in like the Premier Cup, but why is that the case? I think because people have no way more XL Pokemon. Like Scrafty ready, I also have my Scrafty now ready, so yeah, I think that's something that kind of kills this team, like Scrafty in general is kind of tough to beat. Here we have Jason against us, like, I don't know, it, it's it's difficult, it's really difficult. We still want like kind of neutral, I would say, but yeah, could have been better. We had a lot of losses actually where we lost because the move for, like from my opponent was going through while I don't, didn't get any move through and their charge moves. I think we have some games later on where we lost because of that, which was also nice, but why would the game be consistent? So yeah, kind of unlucky, but what can you do? It is all right here. My opponent gets, I think only to the bubble beam, yeah. We can go for an earthquake, but we won't be able to win switch here, I would say. Yeah, definitely not. We don't get to another weather ball. We can go for one Dragon Tail and KO this thing, goes into Nine Tails, goes just into the Polytoad and we can surrender because that was just hard counter. Next opponent has a Crit Dilly, Grass Knot does a lot of damage, so I'm gonna shield the first move here. And guess what my opponent does? Goes for a Stone Edge. I mean, I'm a ground type, I don't know what you try to do with that, but okay, it kinda worked out I guess. Next here my opponent goes into Trig that Trigology, I can go into my Polytoad. I'm gonna double shield here expecting the Outrage. I hope my opponent shields here actually, so I'm just gonna go for the Weather Ball. And I am two shields down now at this point, but I can farm down now. It depends on he has the back, it's a fire type, goodbye. <laughs> like, there's nothing you can do. Fire types have like no play at all against my team, which is nice. There is nothing they can do. I can just spam all the Weather Balls. I have a Dragon in the bleed, and I still have my. Uh, Sun in the back, which can handle fire types as well. So yeah, there's nothing they can do. I can just farm all the way down the game there. Next up, we have Needle Queen in the lead, which is really nice because Needle Queen has basically no play against my team. And here we can go for Dragon Claw against the Snorlax and swap out. And yeah, this matchup is pretty decent. We can just go for some Weather Balls, and we should be fine. I think we can actually farm down after this. Oh no, it's already dead off this one. And here, my opponent goes into Scraft. You have to realign that with my uh, Flygon. And the Power Punch hurts. Yeah, Fly like in general, like this are also like, I, I know that a lot of people are like really pissed about like having so many XL Pokemon in the league. I'm definitely gonna make like one or two videos about non-XL teams but still have to try out some fun stuff before. So wait for that. But yeah this team like if you don't have XL Pokemon in this league it's just tough. Like I, I could say oh wow you can do like everything with that but like no it's it's just tough. Like you have a gonna have a hard time not having XL Pokemon. I would life I would say something else. And here I think I nearly throw the game. Because he can go for a Poison Fang, farm me down, can get to the death power here. Uh, that was such a bad play for me, because now I don't have energy. And my opponent still has a Scrafty. And he gets to the move. And it's a Power Punch. And we can survive one more counter and get to the Rock Set, but we nearly throw the game here, which we had like easily. Which was a beautiful, but yeah, not played the best. Oh, this game here. L look at what he has in the back. I was like, oof. We had some lucky against us, my opponent goes for the Poison Fang. And we can go for the Dragon Claw, let's see, he mostly got no shield this. Oh, he actually shield this, I'm gonna swap out into my Polytoad. I can go for one move. My opponent gonna go for his charge move, I expect like a Poison Fang. It's a Shadow Ball, which is fine for me. Goes into his Suicune. Very interesting, very interesting to see that thing here, and he only goes for Bubble Beam. The whole time he only goes for Bubble Beam. 
So, what do people play with a Suicune? Guess what he has on the back? And what was his strategy here? I'm just gonna go into my um, Gfisk. I know that this is only a bubble beam, so I don't have to shield. I expect him to have ice beam because otherwise, like, you wouldn't go straight for bubble beam against Politoed anyway. I go for Hydro Pump and do some damage or something, so I just don't have to shield here. That's why I went into this thing. And I didn't know what he had in the back at this point of time, but after, I think he swaps out soon. He swaps out now into a Blissey, which was beautiful because like, hey, Blissey, who don't want to battle against a Blissey in Ultra League? Oh wait, me. We can go for another Earth Power, but he's gonna KO us here. But yeah, this is a timeout team where you try to just get enough damage on your opponent, like kill one Pokemon from the opponent while having still three at the end. We have some like against us, which is always really bad against timeout teams. He goes for a Psychic. I'm gonna go into my Poyotot, go for one move here. Actually gonna KO him, which is nice. He goes into the Blissey and yeah, his timeout team didn't work out here because we were too spammy and would KO everything here. Good game there. And next up we have Surfet. I think this is the game where we lose because we didn't get the extra movement, which is nice. Yeah, this was like still fine, I think. I think he threw after five. No, he actually seen Pete had with us, which is also okay. Because we also threw our move. He goes into a snow leg, they can go for the Dragon Claw. And I'm gonna have to swap out, but I, I was too late there. He shields, which is okay. I'm gonna farm up to a Dragon Claw now and swap out then. I could have maybe went into my G Fisk there actually, because you have a worse matchup against the Stun Fisk and he would sp survive the Body Slam a bit better, but yeah. Mistakes are made, I can go for a weather ball here. The weather ball is gonna do a lot of damage and he goes into my Lodic. My Lodic is actually a really cool Pokemon, I also want to try that out. I might build that soon. Because it's, it's like kind of bulky, has a lot of play in general, has like Surf Dragon Tail, which is a super good combi. While having Blizzard as a new move, if you kind of want to have that. But yeah, maybe I try out my Lodic soonish. Looks like a lot of fun. Is Earthquake gonna KO him? We're not in the worst spot. We can go into our flying and we KO his Snorlax. We can go for the move here. Was it that game? Oh, yeah. He got like an extra quick move into our charge move there, which KO'd me then. And get him to the move here. So that was nice. <sighs> and yeah, here we have the champ against us in the lead, which is fine. We can just do one of always in the two shield against the champ. And we also have our Politoed in the back, which is also okay. I think we're just gonna shield once and farm down. I tried to swap out actually, but yeah, it didn't work out. Cross chop. I'm gonna let this go because I can farm all the way down with Politoed, which is funny. Now I have a lot of energy here. My opponent goes into his own Politoed. I can just go for Earthquakes. I have like energy lead here right now, which is beautiful. Actually, maybe we should have shield the first one because it's also an Earthquake, but we can go for an Earthquake ourselves here. And we're just gonna Earthquake the whole way down. I think I'm gonna Snow sh Shield, okay. He goes for the Weather Ball, which is nice. He swaps out into Snorlax. It's gonna be a difficult game to win. I can go for the Earthquake here, but maybe I should wait for that. He's going for Super Power Strike, which is nice. Maybe I should wait for... I don't know. What, I, what I'm doing now, actually. Okay, I go for the Rock Side. I should wait for one more move, I guess. And okay, I get to the rock side here. Does this rock side plus the weather ball KO him? It's just gonna be really close now. But it barely does not, and he got like an extra move into my charge move again, which gonna win him the game again, which is beautiful. Oh yeah, you love that. And next up we have Flygon against Scrafty. Something which you actually kinda want to stay in there, but yeah. It is fine as a match. I might actually go into Poitot afterwards because I can take moves better. He goes into a uh, slow bro, which is, is so spicy. It's really cool to see that actually with the glasses on. Going for the, some confusion damage, which I actually can see like a lot of dark types are banned. Like you only have Scrafty and Mandibus basically is dark, dark types right now, I would say. So everything else is kind of gone. Maybe Haunch Crow, but does Haunch Crow have some play in the middle right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, yeah. We can go for one Orc Slide. That's Orc Slide. I actually got the shield, which is interesting. I expect him to pop there, which he does, which is nice. And I got the exit move in here, so I'm just gonna shield and farm him down. 
And what does he have in the back? He goes into a Galate. I can go for the Earth Power if he shield. That's fine. Peter shield. I put him already into Earthquake range, and right now I have to get the Earthquake off while he's in the Confusion animation, which I get off here. Gonna go for it, gonna KO him, and he has a slow bone, he's gonna surrender a good game there. Next up, we're gonna have Flygon against Mandibus, which is fine, I guess. I think we might win this in the two sheets, he has a Dark Pulse, ugh. But yeah, we have like way more damage with our quick moves, which is beautiful, we can just go for some Who's here? We're gonna catch the move on the Poitoad, which is fine. Dark Pulse doesn't do as much on that thing. We have one move stored with the, with the Flygon, and yeah. A boosted Dragon Claw is always kinda nice to have in the back, so. Here you go, so the Dark Pulse is gonna be able to get to another Weather Ball. I think he gets to another move after, the, after this. Oh no, we can farm all the way down, which is beautiful. And now we have two shields and we have all our monster. Goes into a nine tails. At least we can realign our stunfish against this thing and have like the perfect alignment here, which might help us out in the end. We are liking to see this thing right now. We put him into rock side range, which is fine. We can let this one go. It doesn't really do that much damage. It's a weather ball. Goes into Nido Queen. I'm gonna go for the bait here. Expecting him to shield because like he needs the Nido Queen. Here yeah, I tried just to get the earth power on my fly gone, but I can go for my charge move as well, which is fine. And I got the extra move in here, I think I'm gonna shield now. Yeah, I'm gonna shield because I got the extra move in. And I can go for my charge move here as well. Going to be able to get this last shield he throws as well, so we can farm him down, I think. It, yeah, there's no way, I, yeah, there's no way we can lose this. Pretty sure this is only poison thing. Yeah, I could have like no shield that, but there was no reason for me to risk that if you had actually the earth power. Like, we didn't need our shield, the, the flag on uh, the uh, Nighthills didn't have like any energy, so we were fine. A a, like, normal Mark has like no play against it. I don't know why, but I see so many Heracross, like, what the hell is wrong with that thing? Like, where do you, you come from? I mean, if we had like the event we have like soon, I, I could understand that, but like, what the hell is this thing? We can go for like, our oh, Dragon Claw here, the Dragon Claw can KO that thing. And he goes into Giratina, which is actually fine. So we can just go into our Poitoad, we have the Earthquake, Earthquake is gonna do a lot of damage, he goes for a Shadow Ball, we're gonna tank one. And we still have our G-Fisk, so we are in a decent spot here. We are in a decent spot. We can just farm down, yeah, he sees uh, uh, yeah, back against g -Fisk. like there's nothing they can do. And here we have, oh god, this game, I uh, like, it's kind of embarrassing, but we see a Lanarus T against us, which is like usually really bad. I'm just gonna shield him because it's super power. Why is this even a thing? This is like most likely one of the craziest losses I've ever had because like, what the hell is like? <laughs> uh, why do we face a Verizon? 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 I have no idea. Erosion, and yeah, it's a Preserker in the back, we can go for the Earth Power here. But yeah, Verizion is actually not that bad, because, like in general, the meta, because you can counter a Chiefist completely with the typing. And Close Combat Leaf Blade is a nice, like, charge move coverage, but a quick attack as a quick move is like, eh? I mean, it generates air energy kind of fast, but not stab, does no damage to anything. Yeah, it's basically, I think it's like a wing attack clone or something, so it's not as bad, but could have been better, like, give it counter, give it bullet seed, give it something like that. He would be fine, but... Yeah, we got destroyed by this team, because, like, our backline completely got wrecked by that. If I stayed in an elite, maybe I would have won. Here we have Dragonite against us. We actually wouldn't see P as a Dragonite, which is interesting without Dragon Claw. We can shield. I thought like okay, he's in red health, we're gonna be able to farm down here in time, but he's around with the one HP in dream. So I get I guess red health isn't 25% of the health, but like I don't know, 30. Don't know how in the antique like kinda calculate that. But here my opponent has a grand bow. I'm just gonna swap out because I can take the moose way better on my uh polytoad here, and he has snarl on it as well, which is funny. Can go for the charge move. He shields, which kinda leaves me that I think he is kind of weak to me in the bag right now. I hope that I can win with Chief because two shields. 
It is a type explosion. I'm definitely gonna win with this thing here. I think we're gonna go into the last battle now. I don't know. Flying against Nine Tails is really bad for us. We can go into our Polytoti Ghost into Machamp. I think we can win this matchup. We definitely can take one cross chop here. And we can go for one move here. Water Ball. Gonna get a shield, which is nice. He gets the extra move in, which is okay. It should actually happen. And we can get to another Weather Ball with a shield here. So. Yeah, we have to see. Is this Weather Ball gonna KO him if we let this go? He doesn't. Are we getting to another one? We don't. Uh, that's kinda iffy. I'm gonna let this go because I need my G Fisk there. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks all for watching. This is a G Fisk against us, which seems kinda bad. We kinda have to get, get a call here, but yeah, we are, we're gonna see if we can win this. If this is a rock slide, he must likely gonna surrender afterwards. It is, and that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.